All right, welcome back. Um, today I'm just going to give a quick review on this FXR modular Maverick helmet. Um, great helmet. Haven't had an issue with it for, well, this is my second season using it. Used it all last season, no problems. Um, now, up until my last ride, um, the electric lens screwed up on me. Uh, there's, on the inside, there's a, a plastic film or lens, which is the, the heated part of the visor. Uh, it started to peel away from the uh, the 3M. I don't know if you can see that there. There's a, a, a it's probably the same on all helmets, but there's a 3M uh, adhesive all the way around. On the inside, the plastic started pulling away, and I was wondering why I was having visibility problems for the second half of the day. Uh, turns out there's moisture getting in between the visor and, uh, or sorry, the shield and uh, the lens on the inside. So, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't dissipate. So, um, yeah, other than that, great helmet. I, uh, I don't know why it decided to uh, separate but anyways I got it super glued back on so we'll give it another go on the next ride um, I wouldn't be surprised if I got to spend 130 bucks on a, a new electric shield it is what it is these things happen uh, it's a small minor defect haven't had a problem with any of my FXR gear ever so um, not too bad can't complain, but yeah, an almost $500 helmet. It shouldn't be doing this on its second season. Anyways, um, we'll, we'll give it a go for the next ride. Um, great helmet overall. Um, easy to use with gloves on. Um, vents at the front, couple vents on the top here. Uh, I find uh, if you want to use the sun visor, uh, you got to have these vents open. Um, otherwise, there's no airflow at the top of your helmet where your sun visor resides. Uh, so if you got these closed and you're giving her, you're working up a sweat, um, we all know it gets hot under there and it uh, starts creating moisture and that moisture builds up on the sun visor and then freezes. I know it's kind of weird, but um, if these are closed, it will freeze and you won't be able to use your sun visor when the sun comes out. So open these up and uh, it will give you some airflow and it will Eventually, after about half an hour to an hour of riding, your sun visor will clear right up. You can use it, it's nice and dry. Um, but yeah, that's what I noticed. Um, yeah, sun visor actuator here. Um, I've got my GoPro mount on the side here. Also got, uh, my Cardo communication system on that side. Um, the one thing I have been using this year is the breath box. Now, I don't know if that last year I never had the breath box in. Um, never had any problems with the helmet. Maybe, maybe it's just a coincidence. I don't know. Um, but I, I may try. I don't really need it. Uh, I just decided to try it out because it came with it. So anyways, um, yeah, actually I mounted the 
Cardo uh, speaker right on the magnet tab there for the, the breath box on the inside. Uh, my buddies say it's a little muffled, but uh, never had a problem before I started using this, so I, I may just take this off. Uh, speakers mount underneath here, no problem. Great helmet overall. Um, I know some people have uh, talked about they got to push this really hard up into the electric uh, input there. Um, <clears throat> when you, you got to turn this and it's kind of a pain in the butt. And then you can pull it out. But there's a little tab right here and you'll notice it lines up with the arrow right here. I don't know if you can see that. Little tab here, little arrow, they line up, push that in, and then you can turn it and lock it in. Now it's not gonna come out. So, for people saying, uh, <clears throat> They gotta push real hard to get it in. It may not be lined up properly. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so so make sure you're you're checking for that. Uh, yeah, I, other than that, it's a pretty good helmet, lightweight. Um, I did have the peak on, um, like the MX style, the peak there, but. When I tried it out last year, I noticed it was catching a lot of wind and it was just vibrating. Um, I don't know if it's the way the wind's coming over the top of the windshield and hitting the peak, um, but it was just shaking the helmet, so I had to take it off. Um, not a big deal. I do kind of like the cool look of it, but I'm okay without it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll try this electric shield. Um, like I say, I wouldn't be surprised if I gotta spend some more money on a new one, but that's, uh, that's part of sledding. You spend a lot of money. And uh, yeah, it's not cheap. So, um, if you guys got any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, yeah, click that subscribe button, turn on your notification bells, and uh, tune in for some more videos. Thanks for watching, guys.